Guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. We are in my bathroom today because I am going to take my black hair from this and turn it into this. I know it's not finished. It is got some work left. Like this is still darker. My roots went bright. The mids happen to not go as bright and light as the ends and the roots. But it's a really good start. My hair is no longer black. There is no black in my hair. This is just a deep red. Go ahead and roll the footage of me doing this and the process. Um, I will eventually be going back in on this midsection and using more of the red dye because it does lift and I know I can get it to where I want it. I just got to keep going over it but my skin and my hair were telling me, no, you need a break. So that is what we are doing. So whether that be a few days, a week, or whatever, I am taking a break for me and my hair. If you want to see this process, let's go ahead and get started. I did go to Sally's and I have a huge bag of stuff, but I do have this color remover I am going to try out because this is black box dye, not to mention the other stuff I've done to my hair. So I want to get as much of this pigment out as possible. I do have six boxes of the L'Oreal High Color Highlights in the shade Red. I have used this before and it does lift a lot. So I did get six of them just in case I do have to do a round two. I don't know. And then I did get two of these L'Oreal Let's Color, Ramp Up Your Color. So it's a high pigment color booster in red. And I have 40 volume developer. I don't know if I'm gonna use this or not. I also have 30, so we'll see how it goes. Here is the Colors app, color remover. We are going to apply this, and I think it's leave on for 20 minutes. I'm gonna read the instructions. Okay, it's in, and you can actually start to see through the ends. It is lifting this black hair dye out. I have bleached my ends before. I'm also not too worried about the roots because a lot of that is my natural hair. Not only that, but it's going to process faster up there anyway because of the heat of my scalp. So I'm not too worried about the root situation, really just like the mids and ends. And that's where I focused this product and I have it on my face, but we will see how this goes. It said, do not exceed an hour but I might need to leave it in for an hour since my hair is so dark. We will see what happens and I'll be back after I rinse. And here's after that color remover. You can't really tell in person. It's really not that dark and the ends are very orange. You can tell where I previously bleached my hair and then like the mids are definitely like a dark brown, which is my natural hair color, but this is meant for dark hair naturally, so I think it's going to be fine. I said I have used this before, and when I did, my hair was box dyed, and I did get a fire engine red. So, here we go. This is with that red booster and two packs of that red hair dye. I'm going to mix that up really well and hope for the best. Go ahead and section off my hair. I am going to start with the darker parts and then work my way down to the lighter parts. Okay, it is all on and you can already see my roots are going to be red. Obviously the ends are going to be red. I'm not sure about that midsection yet. We'll just have to wait and see and yes I know I'm a mess. I'm going to be stained red but it's okay. I kind of figured this would happen. My roots went really bright so did the ends because they were previously bleached. This lifted. You can barely tell. It did lift a little bit, but not enough. So I am just going to go over the dark parts once more. We are round two is on just on the dark parts. I will say, I know you're not supposed to touch it, but it is getting lighter. So I am hoping it turns out good. Okay. Here is this. It is a super duper dark red. It is so hard to tell on camera, but it is a super dark red. Like it definitely did something. You can kind of tell right here, it is not black. It's just super red. And when you look at it compared to this, yeah, it definitely looks black, but it's not. 
said in the beginning of this video, I have used this hair dye before. I still have some. Um, it was a process last time I did this, but my ends weren't this bright. My roots were really bright like this, and the rest of it was just like this dark, dark red. If you separate it, you can kind of see that it's red. It's not black. It's definitely red, but this lighting is terrible. But when it's compared to this, it definitely looks black. So tomorrow I am going to do it again. Um, I might attempt to bleach the dark parts um, just to pull out some of that dark pigment and then use the high color highlights again. And for all of this, I have been using the 40 volume developer, but my hair hates red hair dye so much. I have to use bleach tomorrow. I'm not using 40 volume. I will be using my 30 and probably only leaving it on for 20 minutes. If it's a light brown, I can get it to red. Maybe not as bright, but it definitely won't be this dark. Tonight, we're gonna let it rest, and um, I'm going to work looking like this, so hopefully this is a uh, trend somewhere, anywhere. I don't care where, but please let this be a hair trend. It's the next day. This is natural lighting. It doesn't look terrible when my hair is up. Let me take it down. Yeah, it definitely needs some more work, and honestly, I'm thinking bleach bath. It's definitely not black. It is a dark, dark red, but to get it to match the rest of this, I need to do a bleach bath just on the dark portions, because this is giving me hex girl vibes. Nothing wrong with that, but not what I'm going for. Get in the bathroom and do this. Okay, bleach bath is on. One, I've never done this before. And two, I feel like it's not doing anything. So really not sure how long I should leave this on for. So I'll be back soon. Okay, I rinsed out the bleach bath. I left it in for like 20, 25 minutes. I feel like it did next to nothing. Red dye mixed up. We are going to use it and see what happens it is on it is fully saturated this is honestly my last hope if this doesn't go the way i want it to today i'm just going to leave it because i've done enough damage you've seen the process and this is the end result and obviously it's not done there's still some banding happening but like i said in the beginning it is a good start and i am so sorry if you watch this brad mondo I am so sorry. <laughs> I do not recommend anyone do what I did, especially how many times in a row I did it. I definitely have some irritation on my neck. I don't even know if you can see it, but it is irritated. Um, do not let chemicals on your hair sit on your skin. Make sure you wrap a towel around your neck. I definitely messed up in the beginning of that, but this is my hair. I am officially a redhead, and I am loving it. You know, I might try to deepen up the root, because this isn't bad. You know, a dark red that fades into a brighter red. We will see what happens, but I am going to give my hair a minute to breathe before I do anything else to it. But thank you guys for joining me on this chaotic adventure. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to tag along to see what other crazy things I do to my hair.